This is definitely a silly idea for a video. I was in the gym today thinking about Usain Bolt, as you do, and I it got me thinking, I wonder if I could beat him in a race in Minecraft. Obviously, I'm not going to beat him in a race in real life, but maybe, maybe in Minecraft, I might be able to be faster than him. And then that also got me thinking, I wonder if there's any other world records that I could beat in Minecraft. You know, if I'm going to knock down the 100 meter sprint, I might as well try out the shot put, the long jump, high jump, all that sort of thing. As I say, very, very silly idea for a video. Anyway, let's get the ball rolling with the 100 meter sprint. These redstone lamps off to the side represent Usain Bolt with his record winning 9.58 second 100 meter sprint. It's, it's crazy how fast that actually is. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I know it sounds silly, but I really get a feel for how ridiculous that is by watching it travel away from me in Minecraft. I mean, I'm still running. I'm pathetic. Look at me. I mean, fair enough, okay? Usain Bolt wasn't in a three-piece suit, so I've got that on him. But still, uh, yeah, I haven't really done well there. Right, let's see if sprint jumping improves the situation. I mean, to be fair, he's not getting away quite as quickly. But still, no. What about sprint jumping while wearing a pair of Elytra? I have high hopes for this because I'm incredibly experienced with this technique. Oh my goodness, we are sort of keeping up with him. No, 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 I've kind of lost my rhythm. I got excited and now you oh, he's pulled away. Usain Bolt has pulled away. But that's not bad. I'm going to give that a few more goes. No matter how hard I try, I just I can't quite keep up. <laughs> I think we're just a tiny bit too slow. Ah, oh, it's painful. Just a small modification being made to my little track area. Hopefully this should potentially help. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Oh my goodness, we are so close. We are so close, but Usain Bolt is pulling away. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, so I lost my voice. I'm really losing my voice again. I really did hope to do this without the use of illegal substances, but occasionally they are necessary. I mean, he couldn't possibly beat us now, could he? Wait, are you serious? I still have to sprint jump? <laughs> Usain Bolt, you're a madman! How are you this quick? Right, armed with that knowledge, let's try this again. Oh my goodness, he's still beating me! How is he still beating me? I'm gonna need swiftness too! Oh, this is some kind of sick joke. It's got to be some kind of sick joke. I've also tried it without the blue ice and sprint jumping, and he is off! He's away! And if you're wondering why I didn't put blocks above my head on the ice runs, I feel like that's a step a little bit too far. I might as well just hop in a minecart. Which, actually, even that wouldn't beat him. Right, the super illegal substances are coming out. Okay, we're going all out here. Oh, I don't know what to say. I actually don't know what to say. And also, jumping is actually slower with swiftness too. So there's not... I, there's nothing I can do. I have a totally newfound respect for Usain Bolt. Let's see how high up in swiftness I actually need to go. This is what it feels like to run as fast as Usain Bolt. Almost, but he's still getting away. Swiftness 4 it is. Swiftness 4 we need. Now we're pulling. Here we go. Off we pop. Usain Bolt, you are in the background. I have absolutely smashed it. Professional athlete in a three-piece suit. So now that we've confirmed that Usain Bolt did in fact take tons of illegal substances to achieve his world record, let's move on to the next one. Long jump. The record currently stands at 8.95 meters. Let's have it. Ah, bring on the steroids. Bring on all the steroids. Yeah, leaping. Fantastic. Feet don't fail me now. Boom! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I mean, we still have to- we have to get past that gold block. I'm gonna try again. <laughs> I can't believe it! We still have another three meters to go. It's at this point in the video where I'm starting to reflect on how silly of an idea this actually is. I love it. All right, I'm now equipped with an Elytra, so hopefully I should be able to float a little bit as well. <laughs> Did I just do it? I feel like I managed to pull that off. Like, we went just off the end. I know I've kind of slid to a halt here. I almost think we need a, a secondary perspective. And by the way, if you can't tell, my voice is disappearing by the second. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. Although that might just be the funniest. <laughs> accidental fly I've ever done. This is the official results from the second observatory angle. The record has been beaten. I repeat, record has been beaten. That's how I imagine the officials talk in these sorts of events. I'm not entirely certain. I apologise to any officials out there watching this who definitely don't sound like that. Let's move swiftly on to the shot put. And with the shot put record being a pathetic 23.12 metres, this should be easy! Is that 2.2? 
2.1 meters. Got a bit of a ways to go. I said it should be easy. I'm improving. And I feel like it's worth mentioning at this point in time, I was of course joking when I said that 23.1 meters is pathetic for a shot put. Although let's be honest, I do think I could throw further if I really wanted to. This redstone contraption might be a little bit more trouble than it's worth. That actually worked. <laughs> Uh, but it didn't, I mean, we're still miles out, but I'm just impressed that that actually functioned. Is this cheating? I don't know if it is cheating. I feel like the person who currently holds the world record might have used a similar system to this when they actually broke it. Eh, they're probably better at it than me, though. I do have high hopes, however, that if I time this right, we could be onto a winner. Wow, we actually, we destroyed it. <laughs> That was, that was actually, that was pretty cool. That was way more satisfying than I was expecting it to be. So that's 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 meter shot put. Not bad. But I do have an idea for how to go a little bit further. It has required a slight redesign of the shot put, but I, you know, I feel like it's still in keeping with regulations. So if I just do a bit of this and... Well, that, that's gone quite far, hasn't it? I mean, we're at, yeah, we're at Z34 right now. Looks like it's actually gone outside of loaded chunks. Goodness me, it really has traveled, doesn't it? <laughs> so we managed to short put 200 and, 270, yeah, to 270 meters, which is about, well, it's just over 10 times the world record. Well, to be honest with you, I say just over. It's, it's 50 meters over 10 times the world record, which is two times more than the world record. So it's 12 times the world record. We, uh, I mean, I I always thought I was a bit of an athlete. I didn't realize I was this much of an athlete, but you know, I can't I can't say I'm that surprised. Okay, let's try some high jump action. I, I would like to take a minute to actually say in all seriousness, this is silly. <laughs> like the long jump was stupid, but just the thought of someone being able to jump this high, like the, the 2.45 meters from the floor. What that? What sort of shoes are they wearing? Do they have helium shorts? What was going on? With that being said, in Minecraft, it's it's not really that impressive because... Bonk. Oh, that's embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. Oh my goodness. I wish to die in a hole right now. Just right now. Just, just chuck me in it. So wait, you're telling me I can't actually just jump over this? <laughs> oh no. That was kind of my idea. That's what, that's what I was going to do. All right, this could be mildly against regulations. There. Oh, there we go. There we go. I mean, I don't know if you're strictly allowed to just walk across the bar. If you, I, I mean, you, you meant to not touch it at all. But still, you know, it, I'd count it. World record absolutely smashed once again. That's, what, four in one day? I'm oh, better than I thought. Did you know the world record for the javelin is 98.48 meters? Which, to me personally, sounds quite upsetting because that's like so close to 100 meters. And 100 meters just sounds a lot further, you know? <laughs> I mean, it is a massive achievement, of course it is, but I couldn't help but just that would cross my mind. Anyway, let's let's see if we can get this. Okay, that wasn't the right tech. Oh, that's terrible. I feel it's worth mentioning that I did, in fact, release that by accident. So, clearly, a running start is not, not quite right for tridents. They don't really work like that. So, let's go... I'm going to go with 30 degrees. Make sure I've not got any dodginess going on in terms of where I'm pointing it. Oh, that's... I mean, it's not far off, but honestly, I expect it to beat the record there. Hmm. What about if we try 25 degrees? How well does that go? That seems further away. And 40 degrees seems way too vertical. Oh, but it's... I mean, it's not far out, though. It isn't far out. But we're still a decent chunk away. What on earth can I do now to increase my range? I really don't know. I am a little bit curious here. Does that does that riptide technique work with two tridents? Dude! <laughs> no way. Oh, oh, look at this. <laughs> I mean, is that cheating? And you know what? I feel like it's not. Let me explain. If I, okay, if I was competing in the javelin, right? And somebody walks up to to the to the thing where they throw the javelins and they're holding two javelins. 
I would think what an absolute nutcase, one overachiever. Not only are they trying to beat me with one javelin throw, they're, they're, they're going at it with two. If anything, that's even more impressive. I personally think that this is the perfect way to get a world record. And you know what? I think this is the perfect way to end today's video. What a silly video it's been. It's just such a stupid idea, but great fun. I've had a lot of fun. Let me know down in the comment section if there's any other world records that you think I can beat in Minecraft. I'm sure I'm going to have some fun with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Sometimes, you know, you just have to do videos like this. You can sometimes get a little bit bogged down with serious things and, and trying to make complicated Red Slinger champions or impressive Minecraft builds or massive structures that everyone thinks are awesome. Sometimes... Sometimes you have to just throw throw things around and do some do some running and stuff, you know, you know, yeah. Mhm. Mm the end.